Hey guys, Champer Productions here coming back at you with another Transformers video review. And in today's video, I'll be taking a look at the brand new Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Drag Strip. Now, setting the figure off to the side so we can take a good look at the packaging here, we can see that it's actually pretty cool looking. Like, I like the design and everything, but one major issue, it has no plastic windows. Like, at all. The Deluxe Class figures... The Voyager class figures, they have no window to protect the figures. So you can steal the figures, you can break the figures, it's all sorts of stuff that has been washing up on the internet since Legacy has debuted in stores. So awesome, awesome design choice. Just amazing. But, you know, the rest of the packaging I actually really do like. You know, you got a picture of Drag Strip there on the front, Legacy, more pictures of Drag Strip, which is really, really cool. Uh, here at the top, you got Legacy. We can see one out of five for Minasaur. We are getting a new Minasaur figure. I'll be talking about that later on in the video. Some amazing artwork here on the side. And then here on the bag, we can see we have a drag strip in his robot mode that he converts in 17 steps to his race car mode. And we can see right here, there is a little QR code scanner, which when you scan it, will give you like a read up on the character, a cool little animation of the character. And this all depends on the figure you get. So they are custom to... Uh, you know, each individual figure, which I think is actually really cool, and it's got some neat stuff that pops up with it. But that's it for the packaging. Uh, in terms of accessories, he only comes with um, two things, um, legitimate accessories, that is, and that is he comes with a couple of pistols that have been molded in black and painted a nice shiny purple, which I really do like. And they can combine. There's just a peg right here um, that plugs in to the other gun, and they combine together to make a twin blaster, so pew, 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 pew. So, you know, there you have that. You get your warning sheet. Your, hooray. Just, yeah. But then the instructions have been redone as well. And we can see they're really nice, really colorful, all that good stuff. So, I like the new instructions. They are nice. Here we have Legacy Deluxe Class Drag Strip in his Tyrell P34 six-wheeler. This is a neat real this is a neat little car. I really do like this. This was a very short-lived kind of six-wheeled Formula One race car. And it's really something neat. I really do like it. It's nice. I think they did a really good job with this alt mode. Is it perfect? No, not at all. But taking a look at the details and whatnot, we can see here at the front, get my camera to focus. We got a purple Decepticon symbol, some red stripes, and a little bit of a different shade of yellow to kind of break everything up. Some more yellow up here, some red racing stripes, all the Wheels, unfortunately, they're just peg-on wheels. It would have been nice to just really have anything else other than peg-on wheels, but, you know, it is what it is. You got engine block here at the back, which has been painted a really nice silver, and some more yellow, some more racing stripes, which I think is really nice. Come around here to the back. Not a whole lot going on. But talking about my main issues with the car mode lie right here. A, you can see the engine block for the robot mode right in plain sight. It, it's just kind of sitting there in plain view and they tried to cover it up but unfortunately a little bit of it is still exposed and then the robot mode head just sits in the driver's seat but you know other than that i mean i've learned to kind of look past that because this is a really cool alt mode and i really do like it but those are some really obvious issues um but you know the overall the aesthetic of the car mode is really nice i'm um, talking about weapon storage real quick because why not you know, I'm a Transformer reviewer, and I have a job to do, I guess. Sure. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, there are two pegs right there and there that the blasters uh, just peg into. Uh, try to get that to be symmetrical. So, we can see a couple little pegs for him to drive around and go, Nyom! Pew, 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 uh, I apologize for nothing. Uh, so, yeah, weapon, uh, the weapon storage... There you have that. Now for size comparisons, I'm only going to do a couple real quick um, just to give you a general sense of scale. But for comparison, here we have Earthrise Deluxe Class Run Amuck. And here we have Earthrise Voyager slash Leader Class Astro Train, just to give you a sense of scale. But there you have that. Now for the transformation into robot mode. I gotta admit, I actually really do like the transformation. I think it's something really unique, and it had some twists and turns in it that made me go, oh, that's pretty cool. So, to start off with, we're going to take the figure and come to the underside of the car, and take these two panels here, 
and open them up. That will then allow us to take the legs here on a double hinge and untab these two pegs from this section up here and then just unfold the legs. And then we can close these panels up just like so. Take the spoiler, fold it down, and then we split this assembly in two. Then we can take the upper torso and rotate it around, and we have the legs done. So pretty neat little segment there, but this is where it gets pretty neat, in my opinion anyway. We're going to start off with by taking this section here and pulling it up, taking it and rotating it around, and then what we can do is we can take these wheels here and go ahead and fold them up, just like so. And then we can take these panels here on the side, untab them by pushing them up some, just like so. I'm going to go ahead and do both arms. And then take the front of the car and split it in two. And then we can go ahead and lock the shoulders down into place. Take these pieces, rotate them backwards. And we take these arm panels here and shift them back. And they will kind of lock into place like so. Then we can take the robot mode head push it up and around. This section here is on a double hinge, so we're going to scoot it down. And then this section here will tab in to these two tab holes right there. And we are done. So there we have Legacy Deluxe Class Drag Strip all transformed. And I gotta say, the final result that we ended up with for Drag Strip here is really nice. Just taking a quick look at the figure and everything, we can see it's got a lot of nice detail and paint on it and whatnot, and, you know, it sticks very close to the G1 design, which, yeah, I'm, I'm not commenting on that any further. But we can see here, you know, really good looking figure, just kind of straightening the figure out so we can go ahead and take a look at the details and whatnot. Just take his gun out of his hand really quick, straighten out the head, and, you know, starting at the legs here, they've been detailed really nicely. You can see some detail there on his thighs and on his arms and stuff his chest as well and then the head sculpt has been done really nicely as well it's been painted and molded and everything really really nicely um the original face uh for the character was done in like a tealish color i don't know how you describe it. i'll post a picture of it here on the side so i mean that's it kind of varies in terms of that department and then the other place it kind of varies from the original design is that these shoulder pieces uh, would form a backpack normally, um, which I, I'm truth be told, I think it comes down to engineering. I don't think there was enough room on his back, and plus it might interfere with the combination of Minosaur. I'm not too sure, um, but I mean it kind kind of adds a unique twist to the character while staying very very close to the original design. So I mean overall, I really like the robot mode for the character. I think he looks really uh, really really good. Now going over the articulation for drag strip, it's not bad. A little bit under par in some areas, but overall it's pretty good. Starting off with at the head, the head is on a swivel joint, so you can get a full 360 uh, swivel on it. Unfortunately, these two shoulder pieces kind of get in the way. Um, these are on ball joints, so they kind of hinge in and out, um, and you can kind of just do whatever with them. Uh, yeah. Arms can go outward about that far, and if you move this in just a little bit, you can get that little bit of extra range um, there. And again, if you move, if you keep this out of the way, you can very barely get a full 360 out of that. I really don't feel comfortable with that because I don't want it scratching up the paint there on the stripe. But if you buy this, yeah, just go to town. Um, you got a bicep swivel here that goes full 360, a little over 90 degree elbow bend, um, waist swivel. You do get a full 360 waist swivel. Legs, got a, good, got a good amount of range to them. Outward movement, forward movement, and then some good backwards movement. You got a thigh swivel and a good knee bend, about 90 degrees. And then the feet got some cool articulation. You got a really good ankle tilt. And then you do get a little bit of backwards movement due to the transformation. No forwards movement. Um, that would have been really cool to see. But overall, again, the articulation is pretty good. It's a little bit subpar, especially when uh, looking at the shoulders, how the kibble kind of keeps in the way and the head isn't really on a ball joint or anything. But I mean, overall, it's good enough. Now for a couple quick size comparisons again. Here we have Earthrise or Runamuck. Deluxe class, of course. And here we have a Leader class slash Voyager class uh, Earthrise Astro Train. So... Just a couple of comparisons just to give you a general gist of uh, how he scales with other figures.
So overall, what are my official thoughts and opinions about Legacy Drag Strip? Overall, I think it's a really, really cool figure. I think he looks really good in robot mode. I think the transformation is pretty neat, and I think the car mode is really, really cool as well. I like the car mode for this guy. I think it's it's different. It's different. I really like it. In terms of Minasaur and the rest of the Stunticons, I will be talking about how to combine Minasaur once I get all the Stunticons themselves and I do my actual Minasaur video. So these individual reviews are not going to be talking about anything to do with the combination sequence, at least how to transform the figures for their combination sequences. It's just going to be the individual figures and then I'll do a Minasaur video. But talking about Dragship is a really neat character and a really neat figure. But guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of Legacy Drag Strip in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all from me, Champion Productions, signing off.